This is the new K-Lite Micro USB charger. This is also the new K-Lite Micro USB charger. They're the same. That and that is the same thing, just in a different package. This is the Jewel K-Lite USB charger which is available, still available, and won't be replaced by this single USB charger. But as a comparison for size, you can see it's considerably smaller. To give you a better idea of scale, if you um, are not a K-Lite user already and don't have the dual, this is a standard USB-A Uh, cable. And as you can see, the actual charger is only slightly bigger than the cable itself. The actual fit between the USB A and micro USB chargers pretty strong now. You know, there's no way that's coming out in your bag. The USB charger is compatible with all Dynamo hubs is compatible with any USB device so no matter what GPS device you got whether it be Garmin or Wahoo or whatever this will plug in and charge or phone or power bank or whatever device that's USB compatible will charge from this right these two are the same the only real difference is this is designed to be tucked away strapped to your frame strapped to your forks and it can go anywhere in a little bag whereas this is designed to be permanently out the front of your bike on your mount, on your handlebars, with a GPS or light K light sitting on it. I have one cable coming in at this end here, plugged in directly from your Dynamo, and in the other end, directly to your USB. So you just get your cable, plug it in, like that, and then you plug it directly into your GPS. Okay, now for some specs. Obviously, both of these the same thing so all the specs refer to both of these except for the weight that's the only difference between these two the USB output is 5 volts the maximum output of this is 1400 milliamp hours now for a quick chart everyone loves a chart here we have the K-Lite micro USB charger power output on the left in milliamp hours versus the speed along the bottom you can see the current output tops out at 1400 milliamp hours at 50 kilometers an hour but we still actually continue charging that same 1400 milliamp hours all the way up to 100 kilometers an hour. It starts charging at around 10 kilometers an hour at around 100 milliamps. Although this doesn't sound much, don't forget you're climbing for much longer than you are descending. So you don't want to plug it in just for the descents because you'll only get 5-10 minutes worth of charging. Just leave it to trickle charge your cash battery or GPS all day. Can you run more than one USB device off of this? Yes, you can. You could run a splitter, a USB splitter of this to run two devices. So does it replace this, which is the dual? Not really. It, uh, the different things. The dual USB is great for chucking your bag and you're charging your uh, cash battery off it as you're riding and also powering your cubes at the same time, K-Lite cubes. Whereas this is good for strapping anywhere on your bike. You don't need to carry a bag. It's waterproof, as is this version. And so basically this is, you could just have it anywhere. This is going to be out front, whereas this can be strapped to any part of your bike and you don't need a bag. Okay, what do they weigh? The original dual USB is 70 grams. This version here with the mount and the carbon tube is 50 grams. And the strip back bare version of the micro is just 19 grams. How do you know if your USB device is charging when you're riding along? Well, on the dual, it has this small red light that comes on. So as soon as you're powered up, that will start glowing. On the micro strip back version, there is a light inside, but you can't see it very well. And it does the same kind of thing, starts glowing. Whereas this one, there is no light on it, but because it's out front directly onto your Garmin, you'll be able to see whether it's charging or not straight off. So it's, it's irrelevant on this one. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it in the section below. Thank you for watching.